All right, everybody, we're going to do a faster video on how to integrate Teams into um, Canvas. Uh, so I'm in my sandbox here. Um, I'm just going to use this performance review category. You can literally do this in any other assignment category. You can do this as a discussion. You can do it as an announcement, uh, whatever works best for you. So we're going to create a new assignment here. Um, into video review. We're going to do this tomorrow so kids have an opportunity to see it and be there for it because um, they may not know already um, and then we can do more options and now we have this body um, description for our assignment or we can put any of our instructions um, expectations um, some expectations that I made sure and put on was that students should expect that the meeting will be recorded and that's safety for the teacher and the student um, that they should remember that while they may be sitting on their couch at home, they're still in a classroom when they're involved in the meeting and need to make sure they behave appropriately. Um, things like um, when they come into the chat, I'd like them to not have their video turned on, just their audio, since we'll have quite a few folks involved in what's going on. The video may cause things to slow down a little bit for everybody, and we're going to attempt to use just the microphone and the chat feature. Um, so just anything that you might want to put in there. And then just tab down here to create yourself a fresh line. And now we're going to integrate Teams into this assignment. So this will be here for more external to tools. We're going to click on that. Then we're going to scroll down to where it's at Microsoft Team Meetings. It's going to pop up this window. Um, it may ask you to sign in. Click on that. Um, it's just got Create Meeting Link, which will be the next page if you have, haven't signed in. Um, then we can see New Meeting. We're going to give it a title. And we're going to give it a time. So we're going to do this tomorrow at noon. And we're going to do it for 30 minutes. And keep it short. You can do it for as long as you need it to be. Um, if you're wanting to have a long discussion, you can obviously you can run long. Um, you can start a little bit early. Um, all those kinds of things. So we're going to hit create now. And it's created our link here to that, that uh, meeting space. Um, students can click on that. We'll go through that in just a second, or they can call this number and put in this conference ID, and via telephone, they can join a conversation. If you're doing any screen sharing, you won't be able to see that, obviously, but they can still hear what's been discussed and communicate back with you. Um, as far as the rest of the assignment, you can set these things up how you would like them to be. Um, and then we're going to do this tomorrow, and it's going to be available from now, so they can kind of see that assignment. I'm going to hit Save and Publish. Okay, and now we've got our, our assignment here. So you can see wherever we, whatever you put here. And then there's this link here. So let's follow this. Okay, so we can uh, uh, open this in Teams. If your students have downloaded the app, they can do that. Um, with my school computer, it's already installed, so I can open it in Teams. Um, I'm going to hit Cancel so I can show you what the web browser version is. So we're going to join on the web instead. Okay. So it's going to pull up. You see my audio here, and I went ahead and toggled my uh, webcam off. This is where you want them to put their actual name <coughs> um, and other options here. And they click Join now. And it's going to connect me, okay, via my web browser. So this is what the student would see um, on your app. You'll see um, a request for someone in the lobby. So we're going to close out of this. Leave the call. And then we're going to go back to our link. I'm going to pull it up via the app. Um, so it'll show us what that looks like. So you see me there. I'm not really ready for a video, but here we are. All right. <clears throat> so it's already got my stuff here because I'm logged in. And I can hit join now. And it's going to put me in here. It's just waiting for others to join. You can see the participants here on the right. As people come in, um, you can show the chat window here with this button, and students can put, type in here. Um, old school chat room style. Um, you can share your screen. There's a lot of options there. You can mute yourself. Maybe something happened off screen you need to take care of real quick while the kids are discussing things. You can hit that to mute what's going on so you can talk and not have that go out to your students. Um, your recording button is right here. 
Um, when you finish recording, it'll actually save all that um, video for you um, inside of Microsoft Stream, and you can send a link out to people who maybe missed the meeting. Um, you can start the video with a blur, so it'll blur your background. Um, you always want to make sure that you don't have anything unprofessional behind you uh, when you're videoing, but this will also give you another layer of um, safety, I guess, to make sure that your wall also is blurred. So um, you can interfere full screen, you can take meeting notes, um, you can unlock that for students to add their own notes to that, um, and you can turn off incoming video from other folks so you don't see their video, um, but doesn't turn off their ability to turn their video on. So once you're finished with your meeting, you hit hang up. Like I said, if you were recording, it would send it off to um, to Microsoft Stream where you would be able to uh, link um, a share button to your students in case they missed it or they want to go back and review that later. Um, if you're going over something in a, a lit class, for example, and somebody missed a discussion on a chapter, they could go back and review that and then they could get with you individually or you could create a discussion post for everybody and they could just go and comment on there what they learned anything they wanted to add so um, pretty easy to set up hopefully that was helpful to you and much shorter video this time around so trying to get better at these um, if you got any questions let me know um, happy work on the cloud see ya